have ever seen the baby Jesus. We have gifts we have to bear. channel Casualistic. So today we're actually looking at uh, the nativity scene again and today will be wise man number two and number three. Um, I'm not going to go into too much about the patterns uh, because they're made in the same way as Joseph and the first wise man and um, obviously I'd be repeating myself. Um, so I'm primarily just going to go through the colours and anything that, that's primarily different about the wise man particularly uh, with the headband on this guy because he's slightly different. Um, so this is was my number one. Um, I'm not very happy with this bit round here. Um, I stitched it all down and I shouldn't have so I, I need to unpick all that but I thought I would show you before I do that because I probably will sort that out after Christmas. It's just uh, time constraints. Um, but other than that I'm pretty happy with him. He stands as all the others. So again he's got cardboard in the base but from the base upwards to the body sphere for the head, um, same beard as Joseph, arms are made in exactly the same way, the gift again is just just a sphere um, and the headdress is the same as Joseph's with a chain around the top and that's basically it. So colours used for the face and the hands as before and this will be the same for the other wise man so it's certainly showing you twice and while I remember I've got my hook to remind me um, all the characters for the nativity are four millimeter hooks so in case I forget to say um, so the face and hands on both of them in a, it's actually a very pale pink and it's called flesh and this is mariner double knit that doesn't want to focus but it's called flesh F L E S H it's a very very pale pink uh, for the beard, um, on this guy again it's a uh, mariner double knit, these are all mariner double knit unless they state otherwise and it's a uh, C-040 and the colour is chocolate which I'm sure we will all be eating lots of over the next uh, week or so. Uh, eyes are, for both of them, both got black eyes, um, are in black, no great surprise Marina double knit and the shade is C-045 black. A lot of these codes are older codes um, apart from the flesh which is a, uh, no, I think that's an old one as well, I'm not too sure with the flesh one. Um, and for the gift um, on this guy and for the main body the trim underneath uh, the trim on his uh, cut sleeve cuffs and the red part of this, um, so they're all the same colour for both of them. It's Mariner Double Knit and its shade is C-032 and the colour is red. Um, it's actually a poppy red. Uh, and uh, the it, come, it comes up, it looks on the screen of the camera it looks black but it's I'm hoping it's coming up as what the colour actually is it's actually a plum colour uh, so that's for the body um, round the sleeve cuffs and uh, for the bit round the headdress and for the arms as well and that is all Mariner double knit this is a newer code and it's 017 and it's purple it's actually a plum colour Um, and then we've got lilac on this guy so this is an older code and it's C-028 and it's lavender but I know that they still do uh, this type of shade my camera doesn't want to focus today there we go it's lavender so that's what was used for his headdress. Um, what else have we got? We've got, oh yes, the one neon that is different, which is the same as a lot of the, the previous ones you've seen for the nativity, and that is uh, Starcraft Special DK. And the shade is 
1081 and it's called Saffron. So that's the only yarn that's um, different and I have used Saffron on this guy as well which is the sleeve cuffs and and the bit for the headdress which I will talk about in a moment. So that's all the colours for this chap. Uh, like I said I'm not 100% happy with him. You know sometimes when you just stitch it in the I was very tired when I was stitching this and I, I should have waited another day but I was so desperate to get it done so I could show you all and keep up the Christmas theme. Um, so I'm probably going to unpick just round the sides here because the patterns didn't say to stitch it at the sides, it just said to stitch it across the back and across here so that's probably why it looks a bit, a bit odd but apart from that I'm happy with him. So that's wise man number two. Now wise man number three Sorry if you see me wincing, I've got a bit of an issue in my back today. Um, so uh, the gift is in the purple, the dark purple, which uh, the plum colour one, which I've already shown you. The face and hands are in flesh, which again I've shown you. The main body, the trim, and there on there um, are all the colour red, which I've shown you. Um, the arms are in orange, as are the headdress. Um, and that is an older code and that's C-014 and surprise surprise it's called orange there we go um, the gold bits I've already explained for the arms and for the headdress are uh, the special Starcraft special DK which I've just shared the beard on this guy is in white which I don't have, oh yes I do have some. I thought I'd forgotten it for a moment um, and this is one of the newer shades and it's just called 040 but it's white basically there we go that's nice and simple so it's all marina double knit um, so this guy was constructed in exactly the same way as Joseph and the other wise man um, the only difference is this bit around the top of the headdress so the head the orange part was done as per Joseph. Um, this part um, basically was uh, doing two double crochets in one stitch and then swapping colours to gold and doing double crochet in the next stitch. So that's uh, treble crochet if you're in the UK. Um, and just going around like that. So I, I pulled, he didn't say to do it, but I pulled the yarn through like you would for the tapestry technique, otherwise it would have been. A billion ends to sew in and I really didn't have the time for that and um, it seems to have worked um, in the picture it looks a lot more curved and it's come out quite flat I don't know if you can see that um, and basically it tells you to stitch it on here and then fold it underneath and then tack it from underneath and um, which I've done and it said it's supposed to dome but it, it kind of didn't but yeah, so it didn't quite look the same as the picture, but it, it wasn't far off. I didn't stitch him at the sides. I wasn't quite so tired when I stitched him, so um, I got him right. And, um, yeah, again, he's got cardboard in the bottom to help him stand. Pretty simple. Um, so if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen it, I will link um, Joseph up there. Um, and I'll probably link Mary as well, just so that if you want to know more about the pattern... Um, then you can find it. I don't want to bore everybody that's been here before and heard it all because obviously it's like mm, you want to skip through. <laughs> um, so the pattern um, for those of you if you are new is by Gourmet Cro Crochet and it's called the Aragurumi Nativity and that's the whole set. So um, I have actually completed the set on the day that I'm recording this because um, I wanted to record some of these ahead of time just because of time issues being a carer um, and obviously trying to organise things not just for myself but for somebody else um, is obviously time constraining so um, the pattern is uh, by Carolyn Christmas so um, I have just a donkey and a sheep left to share I was hoping to get a shepherd done which I was going to use the pattern for Joseph and just change the colours um, but I'm not going to get time before Christmas, I don't think. So it might be a tag-on thing immediately after Christmas, I don't know. Or it might be an addition next year. 
um, I haven't decided um, but um, yes yeah, so I have completed the set so that will be in an upcoming video um, so that's it for all the people of the nativity if I don't get the shepherd done before Christmas which is doubtful um, yeah so why is my number two why is my number three um, I hope you enjoyed it I'm sorry it's uh, a little bit sort of a rush through and I just kind of wanted to get the, the yarn mainly done um, because the pattern is very repetitive um, there's no difference in the bodies between any of the characters nor the heads um, even the hairdressers are pretty much the same so it, it, and the, the arms are all identical so it literally is just repeating things and the only difference is is that these guys have got got little balls that they're holding which is the basic increase and then decrease uh, pattern that you would do for a sphere um, so they're pretty unremarkable they look complicated but they're actually very simple to do um, so I hope you enjoyed it um, so uh, I don't know what the next video is going to be because I'm recording quite a few all in one day and I don't know which order I'm going to be <laughs> releasing them um, so uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, and I hope you're all still enjoying the Christmas series like I say there's just one more video to go with a donkey and a sheep which I'll be able to fit in one video so um, if you're fed up at the nativity because I've been getting a lot of thumbs down for the nativity which is a bit okay don't like it don't watch it <laughs> um but there is only one more of the nativity so um if you are getting fed up with it then good news for you it's nearly done <laughs> uh so that's it uh and i will see you in the next video as i'm going to be putting up quite a few this week i'm trying to get, get more up for christmas because I, you don't really want to watch christmas videos after christmas do you you've kind of had enough of it by then so uh until uh, the next video which will probably be not too far behind this one uh Happy, well, stay well, most important this time of year. Happy crafting and remember to stay true to yourself. Bye. Bye-bye.